Good evening, Jessica Harmson with ABC News. An army reservist helping lead the fire relief effort on Kangaroo Island has paid an emotional tribute to two relatives killed in the fire. Lieutenant Kynan Lang answered a call to duty hours after learning his uncle Dick Lang and his cousin Clary Lang had died. Brittany Evans reports from Kangaroo Island. An emotional visit to a scene of personal tragedy. That's the spot. <laughs> Surrounded by his fellow soldiers, Lieutenant Kynan Lang helps place handmade crosses by the roadside. Where his uncle Dick Lang and cousin Clayton Lang died as flames tore across the island. Dick Lang was the uncle that I used to brag about in primary school. I'd say to all my mates that he was the safari uncle that went around the world and took people to do it. Dick Lang was a prominent pilot. His son Clayton, a respected hand surgeon. They died while driving back to their property after helping to fight the blaze. What remains is the melted metal of their car and um, that was, uh, yeah, you can't put words to it. Kynan Lang is trained to deal with confronting scenes. The reservist and serving police officer answered the call to help on the island within hours of learning of his family's loss. Both uh, Dick and Clary were trying to help the community and I believe that they had a baton and they've dropped that baton. I've now picked the baton up and I keep running with it, so I'm here to help the community. Lieutenant Lang is helping lead the Defence Force deployment to KI. Hundreds of Army personnel are working to create fire breaks, clean up properties and deliver supplies to those who need them. Just drop it there, Mitch, but it's not going to hurt anything. As the firefight continues. Uh, we've still got weeks, possibly a month, um, before we are comfortable that uh, big, big trees, stumps uh, and that sort of thing are burnt out or that we've managed to locate them and put them out. Mild conditions are expected for the next four days. A very welcome chance to strengthen control lines. And Brittany Evans is in Kingscote tonight. Britt, what information is the community being given about the fires? Well, about 100 people came out here to a community meeting in King's Coat this afternoon, Jess. The community was informed about the current situation of the fire, but also were told a little bit about what emergency services are doing on the ground. Speaking to people, they're seeing uh, a lot of emergency service trucks, army trucks. They're seeing the SES out there on the ground doing a lot of this work. So they were really educated on what exactly those people are doing on the ground. From here, though, the CFS say that conditions have been favourable favorable today and throughout the rest of the week, that's hoped to continue. So at this stage, it has been a big impact on the community, but they are hoping that this cooler weather will bring some reprieve for firefighters. The Mayor, Michael Pengilly, addressed the community, saying that they really have broken the back of this monster. So you really can understand from those comments uh, trying to boost up the community that how this has impacted the residents here on Kangaroo Island. Thanks, Brittany. Brittany Evans reporting there from Kangaroo Island.